Assalamualaikum and hi. So this is chapter 2 internal combustion engine cycle part 1 video. So in this video, uh, in this chapter, we have uh, 9 subtopic uh, thermodynamic application, analysis of power cycle, the kinetic cycle, IC engine cycle, air standard assumption, reciprocating engine, and decreter diagram, auto cycle, diesel cycle. And from all these all nine uh, subtopics, the basic concept in IC, which is the internal combustion engine analysis, is the one which are highlighted in uh, yellow color. And the thermodynamic cycle for internal combustion engine is the one which are highlighted in the blue color, which is the Carnot cycle, auto cycle, and diesel cycle. Thermodynamics applications. Thermodynamics applications. So in most of thermodynamic application, we use thermodynamic cycle or to calculate and analyze the system. So in the thermodynamic cycle, we can put it in the power generation cycle and then we have also cooling and heating system. So in power generation, we have engine which is in chapter 2, uh, the current chapter and then we have another one is the power plant. So in power plant, we have uh, two chapter which is gas and also vapor in chapter 3 and chapter 4. And then we look into the cooling and heating system, which is a refrigerator in chapter 5. And last is the air conditioning in chapter 6. Analysis of power cycle. Analysis of power cycle. So in the analysis of power cycle, we look into the actual cycle and also the ideal cycle. So what is the difference between the actual cycle and ideal cycle? Okay, so we look into the uh, let's say we have an internal combustion engine here and this is the PV diagram so from this PV diagram the uh, black solid line is the ID cycle and then the red dotted line is the actual cycle so from this uh, PV diagram we know that the actual cycle is complicated and uh, based uh, on the understanding also that the actual cycle is internally reversible, irreversible. So we have a lot of losses in the actual cycle it's from the chemical, from the friction, from the heat transfer out of the system and mixing of the fluid and electric resistance and also it is insufficient time for equilibrium. So now we look into the ID cycle. So from the PV diagram, we know that the ID cycle is the simplification of the complicated of the actual cycle. So from uh, the simplification, we know that it is the idealization which is at the optimum level of the system. And uh, since uh, we want to look uh, the in the ID cycle, we consider the system is internally reversible. So there is no friction, no pressure difference, and the working fluid of kinetic and potential energy is neglected, and the pipe or the system is well insulated, so there is no heat transfer out of the system, and the system also is a quasi-equilibrium. So what is the meaning of the insufficient time for equilibrium and also quasi-equilibrium? So in the insufficient time for equilibrium, meaning that the system is fast, so there is a temperature or pressure variation in the cylinder, whereas for the quasi-equilibrium, the system is uh, slow moving and the uh, pressure and temperature inside the system is uh, how to say equilibrium or constant throughout the process so to do the analysis of the actual system we use the ideal cycle uh, to simplify and idealize the actual cycle internal combustion engines cycle internal combustion engine cycle so as we as i already mentioned in the uh, subtopic of this chapter we have uh, three types of internal combustion engine which is the canoe engine and the analysis from the canoe cycle uh, so this is the pv diagram of the canoe cycle we have two isentropic process and two adiabatic process now we look into another internal combustion engine which is a petro engine or uh, si spark ignition engine and the analysis or the system is called auto cycle so this is the auto cycle uh, from the pv diagram so we have the isentropic process and also we have uh, uh, the top dead center and the bottom dead center and the last one is the diesel engine 
so this is the diesel cycle we use the diesel cycle to, to do the analysis and this is the pv diagram of diesel engine and here also we have a uh, two isentropic process and here also we have top dead center and also bottom dead center top dead center and bottom dead center is the position of the piston top dead center is the maximum extension whereas bottom dead center is the minimum uh, retraction of the cylinder of the piston the cannot cycle the cannot cycle okay so we look first we look into the pv diagram of the cannot cycle uh, so and then another one is the ts diagram of the cannot cycle from this uh, cannot cycle we know we have two isentropic process and two adiabatic process where the process of one to two is the heat uh, absorption from the heat source and the states process three to four is the heat rejection to the heat sink and then we have uh, two isentropic process from process four to one and process two to three so uh, the kinot cycle is the most efficient cycle that can be executed between the heat source and the heat sink and this cycle is being used as the standard for comparison for any cycle and then the efficiency of the system is calculated from this equation which is equal to 1 minus uh, tl is the uh, temperature at the heat sink and th is the temperature at the heat source so the process in the kinot cycle Kanut cycle has a process. The first process is the isothermal heat addition. So heat is added into the system in the process 1 to 2, Q in. From the Q in, as you can see in the TS diagram and also PV diagram, we have Q in in the process 1 to 2 with a constant temperature. At a constant temperature, and then uh, we go to the process 2 to 3, which is the isentropic expansion. So the system, now there is no heat addition to the system but the system keep on expanding and from th to tl uh, so the piston still move upwards and then next process is the isothermal heat rejection now heat is released to the heat sink uh, as you can see in the process three to four uh, and the temperature is constant from the uh, in the process and then we go to the uh, isentropic compression which is the last process of the Carnot cycle and the system now is insulated there is no uh, heat rejection to the heat sink and the piston still move downwards to the uh, initial condition uh, so process 4 to 1 and the process is repeating from starting again at process 1 it goes to 2 three four again and four goes to one again so this is the canot cycle please uh, keep in mind the pv diagram and also the diagram there is the differences between these two and from this pv and also the diagram you will know the process whether it's adiabatic isentropic and so on and so forth okay so uh, the canot cycle also can be uh, utilized in the steady flow system which utilizing uh, two turbines and two compressor as shown in this figure so from this figure uh, we have state one two three and four and from this uh, all these four state we can plot it in the uh, pv and also the ts diagram as the kinot cycle uh, system This is the end of part 1 for chapter 2. And thank you for your attention and hopefully you enjoy the video.